There's a lot to cover in Musical Studio 4.6, so let's begin with a major layout update, hiding empty staves. Alongside the global option, you can now hide selected staves individually using new controls in properties. Whenever staves are hidden, a small eye icon appears at the top of the system. Click it to see and control exactly which instruments you want shown. With Musical Studio 4.6, playing directly into the app with your MIDI keyboard finally feels natural. You can shape note length and dynamics with your fingers, while sustain pedal support enables a more pianistic experience. This release lets you perform in real time, not only with the standard sound font, but also with your favorite supported VSTs and with our flagship Muse Sounds libraries. We've worked closely with the engraving team at Hal Leonard, the world's largest publisher of PVG scores, to bring you features you'll soon start seeing in official Hal Leonard titles. Fretboard diagrams now auto-fill from the chord symbols you type, with full tweakability in properties. Chord symbols themselves have also been given some love. You can now scale and position extensions, modifiers, and altered bass notes independently. Guitarists can now add slurs with H and P markings for hammer-ons and pull-offs. And we've added left and right hand tapping symbols to the guitar palette. And best of all, if you're using a guitar sound from Muse Sounds Guitars Volume 2, you'll hear slurs and tapping in play. Playback. And speaking of Muse Sounds, there are two new playback libraries worth highlighting here. The first is the highly requested Euphonium. In addition, we're also proud to introduce a new handbell collection. Get both of these libraries in the Muse Sounds section of Muse Hub. Let's get back to engraving. There's a lot more to cover here. In film scoring and band music, it's common to show measure numbers below the bottom stave. You can now do this with a click of a button and you can place any system markings, including rehearsal and tempo marks, beneath each system via the layout panel. For repeated sections played more than twice, you can now display repeat play count text above end repeat bar lines. Musical Studio 4.6 now recognizes any Smoothful font installed on your computer. To help you work faster, we've added a number of workflow improvements to Musical Studio 4.6. The selection filter now lets you isolate individual notes in chords, perfect for extracting lines and pasting them into other staves. You can now make a range selection, then copy it somewhere else by holding Alt on Windows or Option on Mac while clicking where you want it to go. When editing text, a new widget puts basic styling tools at your fingertips. Percussion riders can now fit more drum pads on screen by increasing the number of columns in the percussion panel. We've also added a handy new shortcut to stop playback and instantly select the note where playback ended. Don't forget to subscribe for updates on new releases, tutorials, and the latest Muse Sounds libraries. Thanks for watching and enjoy Musical Studio 4.6.